I think it's safe to say that any car enthusiast loves a good project car. Now, if you follow us here at CJ Pony Parts and follow our YouTube channel, you know we've done a lot of projects over the years. Our most current project being Project 55, my 1993 Mustang Cobra. Now, those of you that know me personally know how excited about this car. I can't stop talking about it online and offline, and I just can't wait to get this car done. Now, we've had a lot of good projects here at CJ's over the years. I mean, one of the first ones that kind of even got the ball rolling with the video was Project Bob. That was our 2005 Mustang GT that we drag raced. Now that car, we did a couple really, really low rent, like poor, poor quality videos on it. Mostly at the track, just showing what that could do. So in 2012, we bought a pair of Gotta Have It green Mustangs. It ended up being Gotta Have It Street and Gotta Have It Race. This is actually my shirt from those cars we did those builds. And those builds put us on the map. They really did. I mean, there, we started upping our video quality a little bit. I mean, we were still very amateur. It was a camcorder after hours but those videos started getting a real, real serious following. We campaigned Gotta Have It Race in the NMRA. We traveled with it 2012 and 2013. And then 2014 with the 2015s coming up, we started not using those cars as much and they ended up for sale. Gotta Have It Race ended up going down to Maryland and Gotta Have It Street went to Florida. Now I believe it's either in Ohio or it's somewhere out in the Midwest. I haven't heard about it in years. So cars, both of them I would have loved to have owned at the time, but it just unfortunately just wasn't right. So sometimes the stars just really align in your favor. I'm good friends with the owner of Gotta Have It Race, and she let me know she was actually looking to get rid of it. Well, we were looking for an S197 project car. We were thrilled to be able to bring Gotta Have It Race back here to CJ Pony Parts. Now, for those of you who weren't around during the Gotta Have It builds, Gotta Have It Race is a 2013 Mustang GT ordered in the Gotta Have It green color. When we ordered this car, we ordered it with one in 10, and that was to drag racing. We got a base model, got the Recaro seats because they're manual and lighter, and got no options except for the 373 gears. We raced this car when it was brand new at the NMRA. Now, we ran the entire 2012 NMRA season with this car, competing in the Super Stang category and did okay. We were able to run the car on a drag radial and ran a best of 1128 at 120 in NMRA legal competition. Now later that year, when we got a little bit cooler out, we took some weight out, put a full slick on the car, and ran as quick as 1105, which was flying for an NA Coyote back in the day. Now after that, again, we didn't race the car as much, started working on some other projects, and got to have it race end up being sold. Now the new owner, when she bought it, she actually took it back to the NMRA and she traveled the entire circuit as well, again, running in the Super Street category. Now the car is legal, it has a Maximum Motorsports roll bar and harnesses in it, and at the time it had a stock intake with a JLT, American Racing long tube headers, and a bunch of BMR suspension goodies underneath. The you know, best 60 foot time ever on slicks was a 149. Like I said, we were trying so hard for that 1099, it just never quite got there. So now we have got to have it raced back here to CJ's. We got to figure out what we're going to do with it. Like I said, we were looking for an S197, probably an 11 through 14 car, something stock that we can kind of take and do a full build on. But when the opportunity to get this car back here, I mean, this is a part of CJ history, we had to bring it home. So what do you think we should do with it? I mean, like I said, back in the day, the car ran 1105. You know, it still had a bunch of weight in it. That was a stock intake, JLT cold air on it. It's got a CJ on it now that we'll probably end up taking off. But should we take it back to full race trim? Should we try for that elusive 10 second pass? Or should we just throw a power router on it? Maybe change up the suspension, make like a killer street car. You know, we love this car. I'm sure a lot of you guys are gonna remember it. What do you think we should do with Gotta Have It Race?